Lindsay Veer Duncan, CBE is a Scottish stage, television and film actress. On stage she has won two Olivier Awards, a Tony Award for her performance in Private Lives, and another Tony Award nomination for her role in Les Liaisons Dangerous Users. Duncan has starred in several plays by Harold Pinter. Her most famous roles on television include, Barbara Douglas in Alan Bleasdale's GBH, Servilia of the Junior I in the Beau Rice series Rome, and Adelaide Brooke in The Doctor Who special The Waters of Mars. On film she voiced the android TC-14 in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, and she played Alice's mother in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. She was appointed CBE in 2009 for services to drama. Personal life, Duncan was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, in a working-class family. Her father has served in the army for 21 years before becoming a civil servant. Her parents moved to Leeds, then Birmingham when she was still a child. Duncan attended King Edward VI High School for Girls in Birmingham through a scholarship. Despite her origins, she speaks with a received pronunciation accent. As of 2011, her only role with a Scottish accent is after life. Duncan's father died in a car accident when she was 15. Her mother was affected by Alzheimer's disease and died in 1994. She inspired Sharman MacDonald to write the play The Winter Guest, which was later adapted as a film by Alan Rickman. Duncan is married to fellow Scottish actor Hilton McRae whom she met in 1985 at the Royal Shakespeare Company. They live in North London. They have one son, Cal McRae, born September 1991. Duncan was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire for services to drama in the 2009 Birthday Honours. Career Duncan's first contact with theatre was through school productions. She became friends with the future playwright Kevin Elliott who attended the neighbouring King Edward's School for Boys, and followed him to Bristol, where he read drama at university. She did a number of odd jobs while staging her own production of Joe Orton's Funeral Games. Duncan joined London Central School of Speech and Drama at the age of 21. After her training she started out in summer weekly rep in Southwold to gain her equity card. She appeared in two small roles in Moliere's Don Juan at the Hampstead Theatre in 1976, and she joined the Royal Exchange Theatre, Manchester when it opened. In 1978 she returned to London in Plenty by David Hare at the National. She appeared on the television in small roles in a special episode of Up Pompeii, and in The New Avengers, and a commercial for Head & Shoulders Shampoo. She made her breakthrough on Top Girls by Carol Churchill created at the Royal Court in London and later transferred to the Public Theatre in New York, her performance as Lady Naijo, a 13th-century Japanese concubine, won her an Obi, her first award. The next year she took her first major role on film in Richard Eyre's Loose Connections with Stephen Ree. At the same time her television work included a filmed version of Frederick Lonsdale's On Approval, Riley, Ace of Spies and Dead Head. In 1985 she joined the Royal Shakespeare Company for the production of Troilus and Cressida, in which she played Helen of Troy. In September she created the role of the Marquise de Matouille in Les Liaisons Dangerous Uses, the play by Christopher Hampton after the French novel by Codlos de Laclos. The play opened at the other place in Stratford-upon-Avon. On January 8, 1986 the production transferred to the 200-seat Theatre The Pit in London's Barbican Centre, with its original cast intact. In October of the same year the production moved to the Ambassadors in the West End. In April 1987 the cast, including Duncan, took the play to Broadway, with the London production completely recast. For her performance she was nominated for a Tony and won the Olivier Award for Best Actress and a Theatre World Award. She was however replaced by Glenn Close for Dangerous Liaisons a Euro Stephen Frears's film of the play. Similarly John Malkovich was selected for the role of Varmint instead of Duncan's co-star Alan Rickman. In 1988 Duncan won an Evening Standard Award for her role of Maggie and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams. At the same time she became a regular in the plays of Harold Pinter and the television work of Alan Bleasdale and Stephen Poliakoff. She performed for a second season with the RSC in 1994 a Euro 1995, 
in A Midsummer Night's Dream in which she played the double role of Hippolyta and Titania. She went on tour in the United States with the rest of the cast, but back and neck pains forced her to be replaced by Emily Button from January to March 1997. Impressed by her performance in David Mamet's The Cryptogram, Al Pacino asked Duncan to play the role of his wife in City Hall by Harold Becker. To please her young son, a Star Wars fan, Duncan applied for the role of Anakin Skywalker's mother in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, but was not cast. She finally accepted to voice an android TC-14. She reunited with Alan Rickman in a revival of Noel Coward's Private Lives, and won a Tony Award for Best Actress and a second Olivier Award for her performance as Amanda Prinna Euro. She was also nominated the same year for her role in Mouth to Mouth by Kevin Elliott. Duncan played Servilia Kipianis in the 2005 HBO BBC series Rome and she starred as Rose Harbinson in Starter for Ten. Aged by makeup, she played Lord Longford's wife, Elizabeth, in the TV film Longford. In February 2009, she played British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in Margaret. In November 2009, Duncan played Adelaide Brooke, companion to the Doctor, in the second of the 2009 Doctor Who specials. Duncan played Alice's mother in Tim Burton's 2010 film Alice in Wonderland, alongside Mia Wasikowska, Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. She also starred in the original London run of Polly Stenham's play That Face at the Royal Court co-starring Matt Smith and directed by Jeremy Herron. She did the narration for the Matt Lucas and David Walliams 2010-2011 Fly on the Wall mockumentary series Come Fly With Me on the BBC. In October a year on November 2010, Duncan starred in a new version by Frank McGuinness of Ibsen's John Gabriel Balkerman at the Abbey Theatre, Dublin alongside her liaison's Danger Uses co-stars Alan Rickman and Fiona Shaw. The production transferred in January a year of February 2011 to the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Alan Bleasdale asked for Duncan to feature in his first work for television after ten years of absence, The Sinking of the Laconia aired on January 2011. She plays an upper-class passenger in the two-part drama based on a true story of World War II. She also played the mother of Matt Smith in the telefilm Christopher and His Kind written by Kevin Elliott after Christopher Isherwood's autobiography of the same title. In October a year on November 2011, Duncan read extracts of the King James Bible at the National Theatre, London as part of the 400th anniversary celebrations of the translation. She played Queen Annis, ruler of Colleen and antagonist of Merlin, in the fifth episode of the fourth series of BBC One's Merlin. She also appeared as Home Secretary Alex Cairns to Rory Kinnear's Prime Minister in the National Anthem, the first episode of Charlie Brooker's Black Mirror. Duncan started 2012 as a guest in the New Year special of Absolutely Fabulous, playing the part of Safi's favourite film actress, Jeanne Durand. In February she returned to the West End in Noel Coward's Hay Fever with Kevin McNally, Jeremy Northam and Olivia Colman, once again under the direction of Howard Davis. Later in 2012, Duncan featured in BBC Two's productions of Shakespeare's history plays. She is to play the Duchess of York in the first film, Richard II, with David Suchet as the Duke of York and Patrick Stewart as John of Gaunt. Beginning in October 2014, Duncan appears as Claire in the revival of Edward Albee's A Delicate Balance on Broadway. Filmography, Theatre, Film, Television, References External links, Lindsay Duncan at the Internet Movie Database, Lindsay Duncan's resume on her agent's website, Nighttime's feature article, 2014.